this video we're going to look at bulldozers. Our bulldozers are the, the heavy movers of the um, of plant. Um, they can be tracked or wheel mounted, usually they are track mounted because what a bulldozer does is it provides pushing power, tractive power. They have a low centre of gravity, they have a lot of weight and so they're like a, a prop or someone in a rugby team, a person that's big and strong and can sort of push through anything and that's what a that's what a bulldozer does. Uh, they're fitted with blades at the front and so the way they normally move earth is they just get in there and push the dirt forward. You notice that it's not a bucket, they can't tip it and take it into a, um, into a bucket like an excavator or a loader. The uh, main way of moving material is by pushing it in front of the, the loader, oh, sorry, in, in front of the bulldozer. Uh, power ratings are D3 which is 55 kilowatt which is quite small up to a D11. Most construction sites you'll see are like um, D, D6s, D7s. Uh, and they can be quite heavy, 6 tonnes up to 105 tonnes, so that's quite heavy, but they are very, very slow. So while they can move quite a lot of soil in front of them, they're limited by how much soil they can have in front of the, the blade. After a while, if there's too much soil, it starts tipping over the front or going around the sides. Um, and they're also very slow. So they're only really good for moving material over short distances. They are very good for spreading material, um, so you don't have to be moving material. It might be that trucks dump uh, the material in a stockpile and the bulldozer gets in there and spreads it all out. So they are very good at laying in layers. Um, bulldozers, because of their very strong tractive power, they can be used for ripping. So if you've got a hard soil or even a, a, a weathered rock or a soft rock, um, you can uh, use the bulldozer's ripper. So here you've got three tines and they're mounted on a hydraulic ram there. That ram sort of extends and pushes the tines into the ground. Um, and then the bulldozer sort of moves forward and the tines dig into the ground and start ripping it up. Uh, you can have single rippers for especially hard material you'll have a single ripper or you may have multiple rippers. Uh, and they replace uh, replaceable tungsten steel tips, these things do wear out quite significantly. So what they're good for is cutting, so they can sort of um, trim off the material, so they'll trim it off in um, 100, 200, 300 mil layers and then move it. They can move it short distances up to maybe 100 metres uh, and laying. They can spread it all out. Now the hauling, you can actually um, increase the amount of material that the bulldozer can haul by connecting it to a toad scraper and we'll talk about that more in a following video.